Hi guys, Dave here. Uh, thanks for coming back. This video is going to be uh, a little different to the normal uh, product comparison, product review videos I've been doing up until now. This is actually me uh, drawing a piece, well I'd say drawing a piece, redoing a piece that I did in a fairly crappy sketchbook and I'm tracing it using my light board here onto some uh, quite nice A3 Bristol board. Uh, it's a picture of Fortune Teller Baba from the Dragon Ball series. I just love how the character is designed to be honest with you and she's really fun to draw. So uh, hopefully this is going to be interesting for you to watch. Uh, here we go. Okay, so here's where I made my first mistake um, with this piece. I decided to use the same pens that I had been inking the outlines with to try and fill in most of the solid blacks that I've marked off with X's there. Um, turned out not to be a great idea because the black on this pen streaks quite badly, so you can see it quite badly. I do try and go back and fix it afterwards, but yeah, for a little while you can see the streaks definitely. So yeah, now we're on to the colouring section. Um, I start off with the Copic C7 Cool Grey, which is going to be covering most of the most of the picture. To be honest with you, she's mostly clothed in this kind of dark grey black, which shades with the C7. Um, I won't go over every colour that I use, but I will try and pop them up on screen where I can. Uh, but they do fly by quite quick. So yeah.
Okay, another mistake. Um, I wanted to do some highlights on her, the fortune telling ball, and I thought I could do that by grabbing the colourless blender and just basically going really heavy handed with it. Turned out not to work so well. The colourless blender doesn't have super sharp edges when it dries, so I ended up with these kind of blotches, which I do again try and go back and fix later. Yeah, this is me trying to fix the mistake I made with the colourless blender. I'm using a white gel pen to try and colour in those uh, shiny areas of the ball. Works okay. Uh, wouldn't be the you know the perfect solution, but it's all I had to hand. Um, I would prefer some white opaque or some white gouache or something, but this is you know it's okay for what it what it's doing. And there we have it, the finished piece. Um, it looks better than I thought it would do actually. It looks quite nice on the on the Bristol board. Uh, it's not perfect by any means, but then I'm not. I never claim to be a good artist. I just draw things that I like. Um, you know, like I said earlier on, I love the character design on this one. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. It is a little bit different than my normal ones. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. Leave a like on it if you enjoyed it. Leave a dislike if you didn't enjoy it and you think I should never do this again. Uh, leave a comment either way. And uh, yeah, see you again soon, guys.